Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'll give you a tour of the masking toolbar in On One Photo Raw 2021. There have been some additions to the controls, especially for the masking brush, that are worth knowing about. So I'm going to walk through the toolbar and explain what these different controls are. If you are thinking about upgrading to Photo Raw 2021, or you're thinking of adding On One to your toolkit, I'd appreciate it if you use the links in the show notes below. No extra cost to you gives me a little more support so I can do more free tutorials like this. So let's take a tour of the masking brush controls we have in Photo Raw 2021. I've started some work on this photo. I've got a filter applied that I don't want to have applied everywhere. That's a call for a mask. Let's take a look at our masking tools and specifically the masking brush. This is where we have some new options available to us. First and foremost, this is actually to me the most valuable feature here is styles. Now styles have been with us for filters, for local adjustments, but what it lets you do is bundle up a whole bunch of things. The feather of your brush, the opacity, the flow, and a bunch of things I'll explain in a minute. But put those all together and save them as a style you can call back later. You got a particular kind of brush that you like to use for dodging and burning, you can save it as a style. You've got a particular shape of a brush that you want to use uh, for certain architectural work, you can save it as a style. It's just a very useful thing to explore and add in new styles. And I've only got the software for a day, I haven't added any styles yet. Uh, that's what styles are. We now have a shape for the brush. Now the default's always been a circle. We have all sorts of, you know, some things are pretty crazy, like, you know, putting on eyelashes on folks. The geometric ones can be useful for things like architecture, any of those straight lines and edges that you need to get a really precision mask on, or if you want to punch out a particular shape, if you're doing compositing. You know, some of them may be a little gimmicky, like the lightning bolt one. Um, we'll take maybe take a look at that at the end of the video. Uh, but uh, what I find to be quite useful are things like clouds, silhouettes of birds. If you want to put a few birds in into your photo to create, you know, the you know, like just a look of a composite, those are handy. And textures they can prove to be useful for uh, another way of doing compositing work. That's what shapes are all about. I'll stick with the the default shape there. We have our modes, paint out or paint in. Paint out, I'm removing something. Paint in, I'm adding something. Size, feather. So if I make my size bigger here, let's make my brush really big. The inner circle is where the full strength of the brush is applied. That's the opacity. The space between the inner circle and the outer circle, that's our feather. So if you want to have a soft feather, make that feather larger and notice the shape hasn't changed but the inner portion has changed. So the feather, the space between the inner circle and the outer circle, that's grown. The feather is wider. Opacity is the strength. How much or how little are you painting out or painting in? Flow is new. Flow is kind of the amount that is going to be like uh, you have you have a passive which is like your upper cap I only want to be able to let's say add 50 percent flow is how quickly will I get there if I have a flow of 100 percent I'm painting at 50 percent immediately and just you know hitting that all the way flow kind of controls how quickly you're going to hit your your boundary of your opacity. It's, it's nice to have because it is yet another control for really fine-tuned masking work. Now last we have angle. That is predominantly useful with shapes. So let me go back and add a shape such as a square. So here's the square brush and now of course it is definitely a square. If I change the angle we'll see that rotate, right? So you can rotate in the positive direction all the way around, you know, 360. So you've got the full range of motion, but it only goes positively. And so if I had something at a particular angle, I could line that up. This would be for very precision work. Or as I mentioned, if you're trying to do something interesting with compositing and you want to have geometric shapes of different photos, you know, overlaid in certain ways, these, uh, these brush shapes do have some interesting potential applications. Now last two controls, we have the perfect brush. This is our edge detection. 
and it works very, very well. It's the same tool that we've had in previous versions of Photo Raw. The center of the brush becomes your color selector. Any color or tone that you're hovering over with the center of your brush, that's what will be sampled, and that's what will be considered when it figures out, am I encountering an edge or not? How you control that particular perfect brush is inside the gear menu. You've got the perfect brush. We can turn it off and on there. Let me not show that again. <laughs> you can turn it off and on here. And the color threshold and the transition show you or control how sensitive that perfect brush is. Short version is like shorter numbers, smaller numbers mean more precision. So those are the overall controls. How about a quick demo? We'll do a little bit of uh, masking on this photo. And for this glow look, let's say I just want to paint it in on the trees only. And so since the trees don't occupy very much of the photo, uh, the first thing I'll do is actually show you one of the last controls I didn't cover, the invert button. So right now, this filter, and let me push this all the way up to 100 so we can really see. As a matter of fact, let's make it something like really, really obvious like this kind of light kind of glow that we can really see the difference, you know, before that change after. I'll choose invert and now I'll remove that filter from everywhere. And for the sake of argument, let's say we'll not want to go past, say, an opacity of 80% and I'll adjust the flow too so I don't automatically hit that upper bound right away. So if I do multiple brush strokes, I can. I'm using the bracket keys to change the size. And you can see as I paint in, these are getting a little bit lighter, a little bit softer in their glow, something like that. As I get close to the edges, I can turn on the perfect brush. And if I keep that little crosshair just on the branches and don't go into the sky, I can target just the trees with this glow effect. Hopefully that gives you a good tour of the different uh, options we have with the masking brush in Photo Raw 2021. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.